Peace. This is Wise for Wise Words Media. Back at y'all for another round. And fight fans, huge fight has been announced. Shakur Stevenson finally has his dance partner, and that will be none other than the hard-hitting Dominican fighter Edwin De Los Santos. So this fight right here is going to be a huge fight. I mean. Shakur Stevenson has been the boogeyman in boxing. He's been heavily avoided by some of the biggest names in the division. Everyone from Lomachenko to Pitbull Cruz to recently Frank Martin, uh, George Cambosis, you name it. They've all been ducking. And you could exclude Devin Haney. Devin Haney does not belong on that list of people ducking Shakur. Because Devin Haney came to the negotiation table. Shakur was the one that was like, oh, I'm not feeling that. Plus, Devin Haney is already too big for that weight class. So he's moving up to 140. He might come back down to 135. But the Haney situation is completely different. These guys like Lomachenko outright said no. Uh, Pitbull Cruz was very vocal. Him and his father were extremely vocal that they did not want the fight. Cambosis outright said no. And recently, Frank Martin said no. So, the one guy who has been, for the past year or so, mentioning Shakur Stevenson, calling him out type, has been none other than Edwin De Los Santos. And... The one thing that I think makes this De Los Santos fight better than the better than the Lomachenko fight, better than the um, Pitbull Cruz fight, better than Cambosis, better than Frank Martin. What makes it better is two things. Edwin De Los Santos has belief and ability, right? You got guys like Lomachenko, who has the ability, just doesn't believe in himself. Just doesn't think he can get the job done against Shakur. You got a guy like Pitbull Cruz. Ability is there, doesn't believe in himself. Cambosis, I hate to say it this way, but I don't think he has the ability nor the belief. And Frank Martin has the ability, but belief seems to be lacking. Now, Edwin De Los Santos, on the other hand, has both. He believes he can beat Shakur Stevenson. He is very adamant that if he has this opportunity, he can shock the world. And with shocking the world, that includes me. Because I still have, you know, as good as Edwin De Los Santos is... I still have Shakur Stevenson beating him, but this is what being great is about, or proving your greatness, is going and defying the odds, doing what De Los Santos is doing, taking on who at the moment is the best fighter in the division, Shakur Stevenson. So De Los Santos did it with the young up-and-coming fighter, uh, El Rio. He demolished, completely destroyed Valenzuela, and he put, his, he put his name on the map, man. He cemented his name as a prime fighter in the lightweight division, and now he's going straight to the top. He's taking on Shakur Stevenson for the vacant WBC lightweight title. The winner becomes lightweight champion. So he has the belief and the ability. The ability is very important because you can believe, you can have all the belief in the world. But if you don't have the ability, you can't execute on that belief. You can't manifest and bring that into existence. A brother like Edwin De La Santos, who packs a mean punch and has technique and is a pressure fighter, he can be he can be technical, but as we saw in the Venezuela fight. One, he has to be the aggressor. He will be the aggressor. And with a fighter like Shakur Stevenson, you got to 
you got to think back to the genius words, the wisdom that Floyd Mayweather delivered on us, which was, you got to box the banger and bang the boxer, right? So, in other words, when, it's, when somebody's a boxer, somebody, you know, is purely skilled with boxing technique, you got to be the aggressor. You got to bang the boxer. But when somebody comes in with pure aggression, they, they relying on that power to knock you out, you got to box the banger. So, Floyd Mayweather has executed that axiom throughout his whole career. And here we have it. We have an opportunity for De Los Santos to bang the boxer. You know, come in aggressive, throw punches and bunches, and when he lands, he got NyQuil in them gloves. He puts people to sleep. So, hey man, we we can see. We can see what happens this week. Um this upcoming fall, the fight scheduled for November 16th. And it is going to be a really, really good fight. So Shakur Stevenson, Edwin De Los Santos, vacant WBC title, winner becomes the lightweight WBC champion. So drop some bars in the comment section. Let me know who y'all think is gonna win this fight. This is gonna be a very exciting fight, and I'm looking forward to it. I'm Wise for Wise Words Media. Peace.